thanks for joining us on News of the South. I'm Eugene Majiru and we've just been watching that amazing game between England and New Zealand. On the left I have Cathy Tracy and Charlotte Tracy. We'll start off with you Cathy. How did you find this game? Well, England Roses, I'm so proud of you. You played amazingly well. It was so tight and you fought, fought, fought and you did not give up and we just could not be more proud. But you know, in the end we made a few mistakes and New Zealand were incredible, tough and they challenged a lot in the circle. And you know, the takeaway from that, England, you've got to get up there, you've got to get physical, you've got to get physical like they get physical with us and then we'll beat them. I'm hands down. down. <laughs> the rules, of course. Yeah. So Charlotte, um, how do you feel about this loss? I mean, it's obviously sad, but it was a really interesting and like exciting game to watch. And yeah, I think all young netball players can learn a lot from all the teams here, but particularly England, obviously. And yeah, it was really great game to watch. I'm so glad that was Cathy, I believe you've played netball as well. What mistakes did England make today? <laughs> I don't think they made many mistakes. I think uh, New Zealand put on so much pressure that it forced them into errors that they wouldn't typically do. So there were a few loose balls went off the sideline. They wouldn't normally do that, but I think it was it was a testament to the New Zealand defence. They, they had a very, very tight zone. He couldn't break it down. They really struggled. I think the change that Tracy Neville made uh, really, really worked. It just, we ran out of time. I think we were on another yeah. resurgence. But yeah, the, the, the time ran out. Um, I would not want to be an umpire in that game. I don't know how they umpire that. It's incredible. A testament to the umpiring over the whole tournament. It's been amazing. Really, okay. really high standards. And okay. the crowd is so loud. I just, <laughs> we loved being in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. And the ball was swinging from one end to one end. How are you feeling watching it do like that? So sitting on the edge of our seats. Screaming my throat part. <laughs> And it's you kept watching well. the time as well? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we were counting down. Everyone around us pretty much was in red supporting England. The noise in the, in the arena was unbelievable when England scored. It's incredible. They kicked them out. I, mean, I don't think the crowd could have done any more. They, they weren't they did they their best. the best we could, but it just wasn't our day today. And, you know, good luck tomorrow to Australia and New Zealand. Um, and did you notice the, the New Zealand player was tying a shoelace? She took quite a bit of time. Netball has come such a long way and it just needs to keep going. It's fantastic. It's the biggest female participation sport in the UK as far as I know. And you know, it deserves its high profile and all of this media coverage is amazing and I think it really needs to continue. We need yeah. to get girls out there playing sport, running around, having fun. Charlotte, I believe you also play netball for a club. Um, which club is it and where is uh, it based? Hillcrest and it's just in like the southeast near Surrey. Sorry. Yeah. It's Love. a great club. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary <laughs> this year. Oh, Go wow. Hillcrest. Don't forget to invite me, guys. Yeah. 7th of September. <laughs> okay, so which position do you play, Charlotte? Uh, goal shoot goal attack. Goal shoot or goal attack. So shall we expect you to see uh, to see you playing for England at the I next World Cup? I think you need to grow another foot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just really enjoy it. I'm playing and watching. Okay, what do you think about this whole netball experience? It's been here in the UK and next year is going to South Africa. How does it feel just being here? It's amazing. The atmosphere around the city is unbelievable. There's netball posters everywhere. And the, even the barman at a hotel now knows a lot more about netball than he ever did two weeks ago. And I can't wait. We'd love to come to South Africa. Yeah. Okay, I see you guys are uh, were well prepared for this game. You've got your England t-shirts. Can you tell us more about your t-shirts, where you got them from, how you got them? So, um, this weekend I came as a treat for Charlotte because she worked really hard for some exams recently. And uh, I booked the England fan package, which gives us the two days of netball uh, tournament uh, matches and gave us a merchandising voucher that we put towards our merchandising so we can remember our mum and daughter weekend for a long time to come. And oh. the hat, is a, it's normally the lucky hat. But it wasn't the lucky hat today. So. Okay, so who do you think is going to win the World Cup tomorrow in New Zealand uh, versus Australia? Australia. Yeah, so we're well, going to cheer our hardest for New Zealand. Why New Zealand? I just think Australia has such a broad depth of experience on their bench. They can swap any of their 12 players in and out and it would be like their starting seven. I don't think any other team has that. Okay. Let's cheer for the Australia.
Okay, so what would you like to say to the England players, to all the fans and everyone around oh, the UK? Just, it's been amazing. The England raises, you tried so hard, you, you worked your socks off. I think Jo Hartnett in that last game deserved player of the match, irrespective of who won the game. She just was incredible. And just so, so proud of them. They, you know, they played at such a high standard and they lost a member of their squad yeah. early on. So, you know, they've really, really fought so hard they were up and then get that bronze medal tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and Charlotte, your final words? Uh, yeah, it's just been amazing to be here and everyone keep cheering tomorrow. <laughs> Can you sing a little song for England? <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much Thank for you. speaking to us at News of the South and we do hope to see you around the arena.